folks, welcome back. My name is Amanda, this is Literary Weaponry, and it today is the sixth day of Christmas? Fifth day of Christmas, so December the 5th, and this is my Vlogmas video for today. Now, I didn't do one yesterday. Um, I consider whether or not talking about it, but a uh, rather beloved family pet of mine passed away yesterday unexpectedly, so I just didn't feel like sitting here talking to y'all. Today, I wanted to show you the other day I, we, I've been putting together my bookshelves. I did get most of them finished here. I've got my little Christmas tree going too, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's starting to get a little more Christmassy vibe here in my library slash office. This morning I started reading a book that, I, it, it's a reread. I've read it before. I've actually read the whole series that's been released as of this point. It's absolutely a beloved series. I love the author as well. She's absolutely fabulous. And that book is A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayburn. Now this is part of her Veronica Speedwell mysteries. Right now I believe there are four books already published. The fifth one has been announced. I believe it's coming out, I want to say March of 2020, but I am very much looking forward to it. I love this series. It features, it's set in Victorian times. It has the leading lady, which is Miss Veronica Speedwell is a Lodopteress, which is a person who studies butterflies. She is very self-sufficient and intelligent and very feisty, intelligent woman. And she ends up getting involved in mysteries and in intrigue. And she also uh, has a partner, Stoker, who is absolutely a fascinating character. He's a very broody, aggravating male, kind, but I'm, I'm not good at describing books. It's an absolutely fabulous series. I'm just gonna read you part of the blurb here on the back. London, 1887. After burying her spinster aunt, orphaned the Veronica Speedwell is free to resume her world travels in pursuit of scientific inquiry and the occasional romantic dalliance. As familiar with hunting butterflies as with fending off admirers, Veronica intends to embark upon the journey of a lifetime. And it, I love the series. If you are at all interested in mysteries or you know, strong leading female characters, and there's also a little bit of romance in this. It's very slow burning and I love it. But wonderful series. This is book one. I actually own this one. The second one I already checked out of the library, intending to read it again. It's called A Perilous Undertaking. Also fabulous. She also wrote another series. I the first one of that called, I don't remember what the series is called, but this is called Silent in the Grave. It's also a historical mystery with a heavy dose of brooding male romance. Also wonderful. I absolutely love Rayburn's books. Every single one of them I've read have been fantastic. Not to mention, if you follow her on Twitter, she's a very snarky, intelligent, very wonderful person. I was very entertained by her. And I appreciate her and respect her, which I think is even better. I just started this book this morning. Really enjoying it the second time through. The first time I read it was several years ago now, but love it. I do recommend that series and the author. Uh, later today, I hope to get a little more decorating done in my office. If you look, like, that whole area over there is still just bland. And so is everything behind you. The only Christmassy thing I really have in here is this little tree and a candle that actually smells really good. Now, for the time being, I do have to go do, you know, growing up adultish things like get groceries. Uh, and I will check back in with you later. Couple hours since I last talked to you and I am just uh, popping in to say that this month has sucked. So I mentioned a little bit ago that yesterday a family pet died, right? Absolutely devastating and sudden and horrible. And I left to go run some errands. And while I'm out, I, I own an in, a, a rental property. My husband and I own a rental property out of state. Oh, we get a call from our brand new tenant, just moved in, that a pipe has burst and the entire basement has flooded. I'm really not enjoying this month. I'm not feeling holly jolly at all. All I really wanna do is uh, make a cocktail and go curl up in a corner somewhere. Maybe sit under my desk for a while. Oh, ooh, cat's moving stuff again. Not that he ever does that. But yeah, 
No, here's my my other floof. Look at him. I love this cat. Just it's it December has been a month. I am not feeling Christmassy or holly jolly or joyful in any way. So yeah, this has been so much fun. <laughs> I hope all of you are having a better month and that joy has found you and that you're happy. And keep up that feeling because it can go away quickly. So enjoy it. And I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully in a better mood with uh, less bad stuff going on. So yeah. So I mentioned today's been a bit of a crap day. So it was yesterday, if I'm being honest. So I am deciding to take about an hour, maybe a little less, just to relax. Read a little bit of my book, drink my tea, and hopefully relax a little bit. Because right now I'm really wound up. So join me for a few minutes and we'll read a little bit more of A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayburn. so much. Uh, Veronica Speedwell, the main character of this book, is such a delight. She is so fiercely intelligent and completely unapologetic about it during a time, the Victorian area, when women weren't expected to do anything more than pour tea and make babies. I absolutely love her and we just met the other main character, Mr. Stoker. Uh, <laughs> he is one of my favorite just because of how surly and, and, and uh, he's not unkind, but he's rude and he makes no apologies for it. And I love that about him too. They're both wholly unapologetic characters and it, it's a joy reading their interactions. It's just, it's a really good book. It's a really wonderful series. I wish I had taken the time to reread these sooner. I'm very glad I have now. I have a few chores to do this afternoon before I uh, have to go pick up a certain six-year-old of mine. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am feeling a lot calmer after my uh, little reading session underneath the tree here. So thank you for sitting here with me and I'll talk to you soon.